Good morning, people. Kelly Burke, KRB Fitness. I'll let you again. What up? Good morning. It's a beautiful people. Sunday morning, Easter Sunday morning, as a matter of fact. And uh, me and the family are dressed and ready to rock and roll and head to church. Fashionably late, like we are every Sunday. We're not that late. Church starts at 11. Let me finish talking first. Okay. Well, church starts at 11, and we Mommy. usually pull up Mommy. at about 10 50 yes, something me, and fight through parking because it's hectic. Mommy, yes, and this is episode one of Marriage Mommy, Works yes, with my family. Now you can get the kids on there. There's little Kelly flexing his pecs, flexing his muscles, and Abigail with her spit and snot all over her face. <laughs> There's Miss Lois Burke. I like her hair down better than straight, but she wanted to wear curly today. Okay, you gonna say anything or you just... Happy <laughs> Easter. All right, happy Easter. <laughs> happy Resurrection Sunday. That's right, happy Resurrection Sunday. All right, guys, so yeah, like I said, we're headed to church and um, we're gonna just take you on the day with us, man. Really can't record in church, so I might try to sneak the camera in there and just, you know, get a little bit on there, but anyway, so see when we get there. Bye. And you're recording like sideways. That's how you record. All right, guys. Slowly approaching the church. Huh? See if we can find a parking place on this Easter. You get the sign, baby? Mm -hmm. I was trying. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hopefully we're in luck here. And here we are at Kononia Christian Fellowship Church. I don't think it's called Fellowship, but Kononia Christian Church. And um, see how packed it is, man? That's what happens. You got something down there, buddy? No? Are they coming out? Can we get that one? They coming out, Doc? Yeah. All right, cool. Appreciate you, man. You doing all right today? Yes, sir. He knows well, actually, okay. bro, I may need to give it to this handicap spot, man. Oh, okay. Because we don't have any more handicap spots. Okay, so I understand, man. Right here. Sorry about that. She having me up with the handicap glass a little bit. Mm. All right, well. shuttle back to our cars because you don't get here on time like I said you gotta park down at the high school it's like two blocks over so too far to right, walk so hey Abby did you have fun at church mm, thank you Kelly you ready to go eat look at Kelly's outfit he's all spiffy <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Okay, man. See you in a minute. 
All right, guys. So just got some. Is that the, what is that on the camera? Well, fingerprints. Anyways, hope there's not fingerprints on the camera. It's all fuzzy. Just. Is it going? Damn it, it? All right. So just got some uh, good cheap food. Some Panda Express. Got me some shaky beef. Orange chicken. Some cha cha mein. And some uh, fried rice. Had some egg rolls, but Kelly jacked me for one of them. You just ate that egg roll? Ate it all up, man? And Abigail's back there. So I need to stop by the office real quick to get my laptop. So I can do a little bit of work for my online clients. Do some updates. And then we've got a family day picnic with my dad's side of the family. This is my mom and father are not together. They split up when I was like 12. So, um, my dad remarried, and my little sister is the one that you saw in the last video from her track meet. She goes to University of Palm Bluff, Arkansas. What's up, Brianna Burke? You killed it yesterday. Anyways, and then I have a younger brother as well, Brian Burke, and both of them are in college, and uh, he's in Atlanta at Morehouse. But anyway, so it's my dad's side of the family, the Burks, that are having a family picnic and barbecue and Easter egg hunt for the kids and you know all that great stuff my dad's side of the family does really well at you know staying close-knit and once a month they do a family day where all the family gets together at somebody else's house and people bring food and drinks and etc cetera, etc cetera. so that's really good something very motivating to uh, uh, keep the family close-knit and I think it's a good idea that most families should do that you know once a month everybody comes together and you know sees each other because you know, you can grow apart really quick. And if you, are, if you don't have immediate family that's close to you, maybe you should just do it with your friends and the family that are there. Open it up for, you know, the people that are close to you because that's still your family. All right, so do that and uh, I'll see you back at the house. You got to give me a thumbs up and let me know some, some of you like record. My wife, you be, why you be silent? Like, you, you can talk. Okay. <laughs> like, all right, babe, we're rolling or something. Okay, we're rolling. All right, guys, so sitting here at the gas station, went home and fell out, passed out for like, two or three hours. Now we're headed to the uh, picnic for the family. I'm waiting on Ant to come up here at Mo Gaines. You see, he was right here. Then he left and went to the wrong gas station, just like black people. Anyways, so, yeah, about to head over there and go over there. It's in Hearst. We live in Arlington, so it's probably about 15 minutes from here. You guys ready to go to the picnic? You ready to go to the picnic? I'm ready. Got your Caribbean shirt on? Yeah. Sure. Next level. Too. I didn't release that one for women because women don't buy stuff, so <laughs> they buy it slowly. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah. What are you gonna do? I'm going to the park. What are you gonna do there? I'm just gonna find some toys. You're gonna find some toys? Yeah. Okay. What about you, Abigail? What are you gonna do? Just gonna play. Abby, you gonna play? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So, yeah. That's about it. Like, yeah, you know, jammed up. See when we get there. When I came over, I was like, hey, don't He ain't here. Look at this side. Hey, what are we just doing? It's right behind the register because you're on YouTube. I'm doing a uh, day in the life, okay. baby. <laughs> Let me eat with you. <laughs> Everybody be at the right cover class game for 30. Already. Uh, shop the teams. Yes, sir. All that. First show, big, jump baby. into the classic division. We'll see what we can do. Then we can hit the national. Like the Chucky, big baby, with the with the white uh, yeah, white for. today, big baby. Already. Shout out to Cordelia. Yeah. <laughs> Already. We missed him on the camera because it was too fat. We didn't know if he was there or not. How long? Here go, and future wife pulling up. She ain't had bad, my brother. I be in the mix. Hey. We about to go to this uh, little family picnic, but you gotta. Alright. Alright, big baby! <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, man. All right, man. Happy resurrection. Rocking that beast hat. My little mama's back there knocked out. Big water park is closer there though. And this is my family. Charmaine. Video. Yeah, hey, YouTube, hey, YouTube hey, video. Hey, Cousin Ray. Hey, <laughs> Ain't Shauna. Cousin Junior. Eric, his wife. 
my dad. Everybody knows him already, Mr. Anthony Burke. Oh, so Brianna did stay. Did stay. Is that Brianna? Oh, that's Janet. Oh, okay. <laughs> she look like Brie coming over here. All this bad food this weekend. Look at that, three hot dogs. That's like a, I don't know what that is. Kalashi. Hey, come here. What are you doing? Say hi. Nothing. Nothing? Nope. Having fun? Yes. Good. I wanted to go to the park and do the Oh, okay. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi, YouTube. <laughs> Them Wait, chips. Yes. Finish this. And as a tribute to as a tribute to this being the first birthday that she's not here on Earth, but in heaven, we want to uh, release oh, balloons. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. She would be 90 years old. 90 years old. Happy birthday, Grandma. Yeah. Look at Abby hey, Kelly, Grandpa. Go on, Kelly. Come throw the balloons, Kelly. Yeah, let him, let let him have one. Are you not going to be your friend? Let, let uh, one. who else? Oh. Anthony. I have one, y'all. Wow. Yeah. So when she let him go, then, oh, then we clap. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah. They're good. It probably fly out of right? Yeah. One, two, three. Let it go. Kelly, let it go, Kelly. Let it fly. Get up, big shit. Go get him, Kelly, go get him. Good job, buddy. Kelly, look. They're over here. Get him, buddy, get him. Good job, man. You're getting all eggs. Yeah. yeah. Enjoying the day. Hey, egg guy. You got all your eggs, man. We got to put those in the car. Okay. Who all has? I love you, babe. I love you, babe. How much do you love me? Oh, to the moon. Oh, to the moon. No, to the sun. Oh, to the sun. The sun's farther than the moon. Yes. Oh, okay. I don't know. You don't know? Okay. I don't know. Well, we'll get burned up if we go to the sun. <laughs> all right. Well, I love you, Pat, out of this galaxy. It's rocking your trucks today. Those are the girl ones. Those are the ones I don't like, guys. I like the boy kind. The unisex ones. Yeah, you got them the first time and I took them back. You shamed me up. I shamed you up. Right, yep. So what were you saying? The most significant piece to salvation is the power. The resurrection power. It resurrects the dead. And this God's signature is his power. You, know, you can go to the altar and you can say this and you can say that. And you, know, you can say, I have faith in Jesus Christ. He is my Lord and Savior. But if the power isn't there, if he doesn't put his signature and change your life, then he's not there. And, and that is the biggest thing that we should hunger and thirst for is his changing power, his resurrection power. Because that's what's going to rise us in the end into eternal life. Amen. Yeah. You know, I totally agree with that. And so you ask, how do you know if you've received the power of God or how do you know that you're walking in the fullness of the power of God? I just believe that your convictions will be stronger. You know, when, when I've, you know, fell into deep times in the sin, my conviction wasn't there. So music, certain music didn't convict me. Certain profanity or being around certain people that did or certain things wouldn't convict me. I wouldn't feel convicted to witness to them and, and preach the blood of Christ. But when I was walking with him, or I am walking with him, I feel convicted. I feel emotional when I'm around somebody that needs the gospel of Jesus. I feel emotional when I'm around a lot of people that I know are yearning for the truth or that need the truth. When I'm when I'm around somebody that says Jesus isn't real, and 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 and, and, and I'm knowing in my heart of hearts that he's real. That's how you know you're walking in the power of fullness of God because you're convicted. You know you're convicted behind sin, and when sin is around you, you're hurt. You're hurt when you fall. You're hurt when you stumble because you just let them down. 
And every time we sin, we separate ourselves. And if you've ever been separated from your mother, if you've ever been separated from your father, that's a bad feeling. If your father dies, if your parents die, or if, if, you're, if, if you're a child and somebody that, you know, took you from your parent and says, you know, let me keep you, let me keep your child for you for two hours or so. You remember how you felt? You were ready for your mom to come back. You were ready for your dad to come back. Now, what if they never came back? That's what happens if we die in sin. So if we're walking in the fullness, if we're walking in the power of God, if we found deliverance, then that conviction will be there daily. And if you don't feel convicted behind your lifestyle, then you ain't walking in the fullness, man, unfortunately. And you want to find that place. I found that place. <laughs> so seek it, search it. Me and my wife were talking about the other day, man, petitioning the throne of God. How do you petition the throne of God? With devotion, with prayer, and powerful prayer. You know, your prayer begins to be watered down when you're going through all this stuff. Your prayers don't get there. Your prayers don't breach the throne of heaven. Your prayers don't breach through the window of heaven. That's Kelly back there digging through those Easter eggs, throwing it down. See, that's how the devil works. You know, your prayers don't breach through there because there's no power in the prayer. You can't focus. We watched a video the other night. It was talking about your back hurting. You know, your phone will start ringing. You'll begin to get hungry. All these distractions will happen through prayer. And prayer is the only thing that releases the power in our life. That's the only way that God's going to open up the window of heaven and pour you out a blessing that the Bible says you won't have room enough to receive. Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these other things that we desire in life. If it's a better car, if it's a better job, if it's a wife, if it's a husband, if it's the beautiful family that you yearn for, all these things shall be added unto you. All those desires of your heart, that equal out or line up to what he wants for you. Don't touch the camera, Back at the house, as you can see, just waking up from my second Sunday now. <laughs> That's what I have to do on Sundays, guys. Got to try to get caught off on my rest. We would have liked to go to the movies today. To, hey, I want to see. Uh, yeah, I'm talking. It's recording. Wanted to see Batman versus Superman, but you know when you got kids, you just can't jump up and you know go do whatever you want to do. So here we are at home. I actually need to work anyway, so now I'm going to edit some videos for you guys. And do me a little eating here. Eating what's left of my weekly meals. It's a chicken slash beef burrito. Oh, chimichanga. What kind of uh, uh, bread is this? Tortilla? Wheat tortilla? Yeah, it's a, um, it's an organic wheat tortilla. Okay, organic wheat tortilla. Got some jalapenos in there. Some <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> and got a mini meat. Put it on the camera. So I'm gonna do that and edit some videos real quick. Babe, something to drink. Okay? Baby. Hey babe, what are you doing? Hey, I'm just fixing something to eat for the kids. What are you fixing? What are you doing, Kelly? What are you doing down there? An I'm Abigail messing with the camera? Fixing some potatoes. Say hi. Hi. Okay. You fixing some potatoes and what else? Some these are some sweet potatoes. The white sweet potatoes. Oh, what's it? Let me see. Wait. But I can't see. Put it in the camera. I can't see. There you go. All right, that's what's up. I can't see. For the kids. All right. Yeah. For me? Yeah, kind of. For you and Abby. And then some, I'm going to put this in a burrito. Yeah. What is it? Let me see. Oh. And some potatoes, some sliced potatoes. Mm, okay. For you? No, for you tomorrow. All right. Or for today. Or today. I don't have any meals ready for the morning. Alright guys, making our weekly Sunday store run at the last minute. <laughs> so what's on the mission for today? Um, Chef Lois. <laughs> well, we, I thought Salisbury steak. Just, well that's only one meal. You don't cook more than one meal for me, right? <laughs> oh. I don't know about this Salisbury steak business. I know. <laughs> Alright, well let's see what all we get. And we're at Sprouts by the way. My new favorite grocery store because of my wife. <laughs> it's pretty good man, pretty good. One of my faves right here. The muffin section's gotta go with their blueberry man. Off the chain.
All right, guys, so just got back to the house and um, got my meals for tomorrow. What well, my wife's gonna fix, she does all the cooking, I don't do any cooking. I uh, got a steak meal, so pretty small with those two steaks. It's probably about uh, six or seven ounces, I would think. That's what it looks like. Maybe eight. A little chicken. Or the turkey, that's probably for her. And uh, two ground beefs. So, I don't know what this is. Mild salsa? Oh, got salsa. I ate all the chips though, didn't I? I think so. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Got some broccoli. Some fresh spinach. And some sweet potatoes. So, these are going to be my meals for them all. What you gonna fix? Hey, hey, hey. You're supposed to be asleep. You're supposed to be sleeping. What are you gonna fix for them all? Some beef and rice. Mm -hmm. uh, some steak with potatoes and broccoli. Mm -hmm. And the spinach mixed together. For one, that's one meal? Mm -hmm. and so that's two meals. Patties. That's so three meals. So beef patties with rice. Oh no, potatoes. Yeah. And then for breakfast. For breakfast. Strawberries. <laughs> uh -huh. Strawberries and oh, I didn't get a banana. Strawberries and um, your egg whites. Getting stopped. <clears throat> yeah. Strawberries, egg whites. Strawberries, egg whites, and grits. All right, cool. You can so, put the strawberries in the grits. Yeah, I can. I can do whatever I want to do. Okay. Cause I'm cool like that. <laughs> I'm cool like that. I'm fresh like that. All right, so she's gonna put the little one to sleep because Kelly's already asleep. And then, I don't know, we might just take over the world, who knows? <laughs> All right guys, so that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed rolling with us today. Uh, we definitely appreciate everybody that's watching and uh, glad I finally was able to get my wife on the video while like she was waiting on me. <laughs> I was waiting on her. So anyways, we, I entitled this Marriage Works because I wanted people to see that marriage does work. So it's not marriage works, but marriage works. You know what I mean? Like, marriage works for you. Marriage will work for you in your life. And um, I definitely believe that being married is the biggest blessing besides my children uh, that, I, that I have. The children came through marriage. Two of them the right way. The other one didn't. So anyways. <laughs> You know, I just believe that if you're desiring, if you're marriage-minded, and if you uh, want to be married, I think your your heart is in the right place, your mind is in the right place, and God definitely blesses marriage. Um, you got anything, babe? No. Yes. The Bible says that the man that findeth the wife findeth favor in the eyes of the Lord, and um, God blesses that. You know what I mean? Like God blesses marriage, and marriage is a beautiful thing. I want to thank Pastor Ronnie Goins at Colonia Christian Fellowship Church. Am I saying that right? Christian Fellowship? Or is it Colonia Christian Church? Colonia Christian Church. Colonia Christian Church. So, um, the church that you saw this morning, uh, that man is a wonderful man. Um, he helped me through a really hard time that I was going through. And, um, you know, he might not fully know, but, you know, that kind of ministry is what uh, family needs, what men need. And uh, hopefully I can uh, walk in those footsteps and base my ministry. Um, you know, off of that as well. So, uh, we thank you. Uh, we love everybody that's, you know, supported KRB Fitness in the journey. This is a new chapter of our lives, and um, that definitely, definitely excited about it. So, remember to keep Jesus first. Um, without Him, you're nothing. So, uh, we're also listening to Leon Timbo right here, right? Leon yes. Timbo. So, pretty sure he's on iTunes. He, the guy's a, uh, a great singer, and so go get his album, check him out as well. And then we'll holler at you next time. And remember, marriage works. I'll let you. Blah!